Hi there, what's going on? It's Lisa here, Raw Food for Kids. Hope you're having an awesome Labor Day and enjoying your day off if you have it off. And uh, I've got so many ideas this week of some dish, some raw dishes, some really cool, cool, unique things. Like tomorrow I'm going to do a, a raw um, paella, so stay tuned for that. But right now um, I'm kind of in a bit of a hurry. I had some family come in town, so <clears throat> just been busy. Uh, doing stuff with them and getting ready to go out in the next uh, couple minutes or so. But I wanted to get a, a video in because I haven't done one in a couple of days. And I thought I'd do a, um, show you guys how to do a, uh, a raw cannoli. Alright, this is going to be a banana cannoli. I, I saw a picture um, the other day on a, um, on a site and I thought that was really neat. I'd do my own little version here and show you guys. So, everybody kind of is familiar with the cannoli. I think it's an Italian dessert. Um, normally a little shell and it's filled with like, some kind of, you know, mascarpone kind of cream, cheese filling, sweetened, and it's dipped in chocolate and sometimes ends are rolled in nuts. Anyways, it's, it's a really good pastry. So to do the banana cannoli, you need um, some ripe bananas. And I'm just going to show you for a small portion. I'll give you the amounts and you can just multiply as needed. It's really just the te technique to show you how to do it. And we're going to be making cannoli shells. Um... Now, you, you'll you use some of these bananas for smoothies because I find that the, the middle section works best for it because you want something that's kind of more uniform. Otherwise, when you go to make your little um, uh, center to hollow out, um, it, won't, uh, it won't go evenly if you got something wider and something smaller. I, I did a few to test it out. Um, you'll see what I mean. And I'm using an apple core. I find this works best because we're going to basically, we need something to put our filling in. So all I did was I cut the banana just a chunk right from the middle. So that way, again, I have more of a uniform piece and I'll have this skinny end. So that way when I make the whole, um, you know, it's going to be nicer. So with the skin on right now, just take your apple core. You could pick these up at anywhere, really. I'm going to go about halfway. And then I'm going to check the other side. Because the banana is kind of on the angle here. And go down. There we go. Meet up with that guy. Beautiful. See, it just comes right out. The banana. And there we go. We got our little uh, cannoli shell. You see that? See how easy this is? This is fun. Something you can make for parties. You know, with your kids. Um... Let's see, I'll, I'm peeling in a second. Now, for the filling, I thought I would do um, some raw almond butter or any kind of nut butter will work. So, if you got a raw sunflower butter, sunflower seed butter, cashew butter, almond butter, whatever you got. So, I just got some of that. And I thought to make it kind of sweet, I'd mix it with a little bit of um, raw honey. You can use agave or probably even maple syrup, whatever sweetener of your choice. I just picked this up from Whole Foods. It's uh, their version of wildflower raw honey. Um, I thought I'd try a different one. kind of tastes like um, really sweet fluff. <laughs> it's got an interesting uh, texture, but it's really good. So here I, I did a little small amount. I basically do two to one. So this is two tablespoons of nut butter to one tablespoon of sweetener. Okay? So that's done. Just mix it up. And then for the chocolate sauce to dip the ends in a little chocolate and then roll it in some nuts, I did, um, I finished off the last of my cacao powder. I'm going to try uh, carob powder next. Um, I've heard that that's got, um, I guess this has caffeine in it, although I don't really notice any effects from the small amount I ever use. But I'm going to try carob. It's good to try different things. But um, if you've got carob, raw carob powder, you've got cacao powder, um, that's fine for this. Again, two to one, I got um, two tablespoons of um, cacao powder. I've got one tablespoon of raw honey or use agave. And then I added in one tablespoon of water. Just so basically I have like a thick chocolate sauce consistency. Okay. And... Um, all right, and then I'm going to roll it in. Um, I'm going to use some hemp seeds just because they're really small, and I'm kind of pressed for time here, but you could chop up some pecans or walnuts or cashews or whatever you want. Um, okay, so we've got our banana. 
hollowed out. Now, this is a really easy, if you've got a pastry bag, if you're doing a lot, you can put in a pastry bag, but I use Ziploc bags all the time for stuff like this. Just kind of invert it. You can even, if you're doing a larger amount, you set this bag right into like a little cup and it kind of holds it. But um, all I'm going to do, let's see. One. See, you can find something to kind of set the bag in like this. That way you don't have to hold it with your hands. See that? And then, sure, a little nut butter filling in there. It's just fun stuff. I saw that and I thought, oh man, that's so cool. It's just fun. Who doesn't like bananas with... You know, almond butter, honey, chocolate. Mmm. So good. So you take that. I know this is a really small amount, guys, but... I, um... It's just, uh... I'll give it to McKinsey. She'll probably like it. So you just take the scissors and just snip a little bit off the corner. And all I'm going to do is you just take your nut butter and you just squeeze it and you're just filling in this hole Whoop, and we're coming right out then squeeze it and put it down uh, there we go and you want to keep these in the fridge and they're going to sit like this so okay Get a little more in there. So this will be enough for like two cannolis, banana cannolis. And I was thinking I, if I had more um, cacao powder, I was thinking even put a little cacao powder in with the uh, nut mixture just to give it a little more chocolatey flavor and to also kind of thicken it because I was a little worried that it might be a little runny like this, but it doesn't really matter. It's all going in, in the stomach. So take this off now. So now we have our little stuffed banana. And take your chocolate sauce. Let me get some hemp seeds down here. Let me see, okay. So I'll put some hemp seeds right here. And I'm going to take my chocolate sauce and I'm just going to coat the ends. Start with one end. And let it. Go over this up. Sides here. There. There yeah. And that's going to keep that almond butter in there too. Look at that. <laughs> Let's do this one. Cover that chocolate. Oh my god. This looks so good. Alright, roll it in there. Alright, I think that's good enough. I'm kind of doing it in a bit of a hurry, but you guys get the point. Check that out. This is a raw banana cannoli. Does that not look awesome, guys? <laughs> that's so cool. Let me take a bite here. Oh my god. Mm. Wow. <laughs> that is really good. That is awesome. If your nut butter's a little loose like mine is, try adding a little bit of um cacao powder, carrot powder, um, in there. It'll make it a little chocolatey, but, um, it'll kind of thicken it up, too, a little bit. Um, unless your nut butter is pretty thick, but, um, mine was a little loose, but I didn't want to, I wanted to save the cacao for dipping the ends and stuff like that, but, anyways, you got the, you got the idea, so go have some fun, go make some, uh, banana cannolis, and, um, enjoy your holiday weekend. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to these videos if you haven't. 
Always appreciate your comments and always appreciate any thumbs up on any of the uh, the video videos and recipes that uh, that you enjoy. So uh, take care and remember to always eat happy foods. Happy foods. They can even come in dessert form. All right, take care.